the 100 season one episode two earth skills welcome back guys and girls we are back with another episode of the 100 patreon gets this full uncut link in the description below wherever you get the 100 you go watch it over on patreon now i am gonna say this again i will say this every episode the watch along format you cannot watch it with me. It is the reaction only. It will be there will be a timer in the corner. Think with me. Um, I can't say that enough. If you guys want to support me, come over and and support me. It's not that much for um reactions, and I don't make you send a a fortune. It's like five bucks for episodes and then nine dollars for movies. Um, but without further ado, we will be doing the one next episode of the one hundred. Three, two, one. Let's get down. It's only a matter of time before people figure out that we sent the hundred kids around. We have to come up with a way that the people are not. Why am I the only one that thinks this is the most sound inducing show we have watched so far? Like, it's blasted in my ears. Oh, he buried the two. Um. Oh. Oh. Interesting. I'm like, Marvel! I say you're not criminals! You're fighters! Wow. Survivors! The grounders should worry about us! What is... What is it that you think he can't do? I love her ballsiness. Why is it? My sister doesn't. I feel like he's gonna be one of those types of characters that has a character arc where he's gonna be a good guy. All right, but we kept her babysitted in a way. I don't think that's. You may not be my real brother. I feel like she's just a best you friend of his. Maybe she, house. maybe he does have a crest on her. Why was someone raised beneath the floor and not a total basket case? <laughs> I don't know. Couldn't save your father. Wow! Did that just hit the root? It has been called a mentor. <laughs> She's on the right track! It looks cool. TV shows usually are like this. They're on lower budget, but... This looks pretty decent. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. What the hell is in his stomach? Got a cold. Too late to see. The chance of a surprise. I think he's gonna say Abby's side. No one's going to keep it home. The little girl is safe. In the usual, rather than serious respect. Yes. Ten more days, 
I understand the risk, but it's worth it. Well, that's an animal. That's a bad. That's a big. I wonder who she has on the ground that she likes uh, or uh, or loves. Maybe a relative. Why did I stop watching the show? I I have no idea. As I said, I barely watched it. I only watched these two first two episodes. There was like, there was show. There's a lot of shows that I have watched one episode or two and I stopped. But I barely remembered any of it because it was like three years ago, four years. Damn. Uh, these are those people. It's not a what or who, it's a it at this point. It might be a who, but like... I thought it was a it. It might be a who now. Because... Unless they have... Some type of ability to survive that good. Um, I'm kind of interested in the show. Um, as you said, I actually got a subscriber from this, and I thought I knew this show was going to be do well on the channel because, considering what we watch in general, we watch mm, drama, action shows, um, usually. We watch everything now, but like I'm trying to dip my toe into other waters and territories. Um, right, uh, right now we're doing like comedy for the first time, <laughs> um, and stuff like that for a TV show at least. Um, usually TV shows, uh, I I always keep the same genre teen drama or horror base because that's the that's the category that my channel goes i know it's weird to have teen drama and then horror and the same bases but i always love the cw shows i used to love them now not so much i i don't even think cw is a thing anymore at this point i really don't think i could ever watch a CW show. The only CW show I had never liked was Riverdale. Um, I lost interest after Arrowverse's um, crossover event, um, Crisis on Earth, with CW in general. Um, that's when I started losing interest in the plot, and I think it because it started the writing started and getting sloppy and um for most shows that they were throwing out of the bus so um and now a lot of cable um doesn't actually live as a thing so mostly nowadays it's just more it's police um medical shows and firefighter shows on um tv or cop shows or like like special forces shows like that stuff is usually on tv on cable now that's the only thing that usually stays on cable at this point um but i know i i went on a rant from what we were talking about but the 100, um, it looks like we're going to have a ride with us. I really like the main character, Clark. 
um, Gr Griffin, I think her name is. I know there's Abby Griffin and then there's Clark Griffin um, so far. Um, and then I also like Finn. I like Jasper. Um, Beth, uh, Beth, Beth, Bell, Bellamy, Bellamy, I'm hopefully saying his name right. I actually do like his character. Not a lot of people probably like his character in the first two episodes, but I think he's an asshole right now. Like, he just seems like he's just protecting people. Like, he's trying to protect people, and he wants to be the leader of the guys. And she wants to be the leader of the girls, kind of. I don't know if that's the case, but she wants to make sure that everything goes smooth down here. Like, she does, even if she is not the leader of everyone. Um, still, she just doesn't want it to go the full chaos. I, I, I will say that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy. Patreon gets its full uncut link in the description. I will be recording this episode and then posting it on Patreon probably tonight, but not really. It's going to go up tomorrow morning. And then I will post this tomorrow before I go to school and then after school what we will do is um we will uh tackle the next episode of Ted um if you know that in the schedule that is our next one next movie will not go up at all we do not have a next movie the next movie um was picked by me but at the same time it really wasn't it was more of a thing where it's just a trend in movie right now and i think it would really do well now um that movie is going to be the first movie i have ever done with this format um we are going to do two parts to the movie because the movie is two hours and 40 minutes i am no way going to cut a movie I am no way going to watch a whole entire movie that is that long and not cut it into two parts unless it was worthy of cutting it into two parts. You get what I mean? And this is that type of movie that I feel like is going to have a lot of moments where I'm going to have to like just do a two-parter. And I have seen people post it, and I don't know if I'm the only one, but I feel like this is going to be something where I'm going to have to do like one part that's like 15 minutes and one part that's 15 minutes or one part that's 12 to 13 to 14 and then another one that's 14. So that's my plan for the Hunger Games, Stompbird and Catch Stompbird and Snakes. Um, We'll have like a separate ending for part one and a separate ending for part two. I will record each of those to like the ending will be different and then the part one will have um like like I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about um it afterwards. That's how I'm gonna work it out. Um we did that with one other show on here, I mean movie or show, and that was Stranger Things. Season 4, episode 9. And that really, it really worked out. The only thing about it was that I really didn't want to do it because of, like, back then I was just like, like, I was just starting out. And to do all that work, but, but it worked out in, in so many ways because the problem was the, that episode was just too long to not put, like, like, have everything. That was in it because of how long the, the the damn episode was. Um, so that's my plan. Um, after the Hunger Bird, Hunger Games movie, we will be doing an action movie, and then after that, I am gonna try maybe actress or actor, um, movies alone. You could, if you guys can give me any ideas. Um, I'll be up to it. Um, I might ask you guys in the comments 
for after um after the action movie thing if you guys want to post in the comments tell me what actress you might want me to watch i'm gonna look at like my list and i'm gonna probably just look at the movies that and tv shows we are watching right now and then just look and see what they were in that i never seen before because blake lively for be would be like one example now blake lively only has a couple of movies so that would be a really hard one but but then there's other people but Blake Lively only has a couple of movies that are good enough that I think would be perfect for a like a watch whole thing. But I could always like slide another actress into that thing and be like, okay, we're gonna watch her movies or something. I don't know. That's my plan. I don't know. I'm 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 just rambling. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in the next one. See you guys. Bye.